Concerns over a dog grooming salon in Greenville is growing tonight. Nine on your side was the first to report Wednesday. Yuppie puppy was under criminal investigation for animal cruelty after a five month old puppy died while getting a bath. Since airing that story, we've been contacted by many others who say their dogs had a bad experience there too. WNCT's Josh Birch is here now to break down the latest. Josh. Well, Ken, I've gotten numerous messages and calls from people since Wednesday speaking out against the Yuppie Puppy Salon. Some say the dog's death, while tragic, was no surprise. This is one of the, the teeth that was chipped. It was a day in late April that Jamie Peterson will never forget. She had just dropped her two dogs, Max and Murray, at Yuppie Puppy for a day at the groomer. Less than 30 minutes later, she received a call. He has uh, escaped from the building and that all of the groomers and receptionists were on fire tower looking for him. Max had somehow gotten out of the building and onto fire tower road during morning rush hour. Peterson says she never expected to see him again. So you can imagine her shock when she found out that somehow Max had ran away and found his way back home. Petrified, he had uh, blood all over his mouth. In the days and weeks to come, Max would need medical attention to extract teeth and repair others. It is over $500. Peterson says they're still waiting for answers four months later. This is Josh Birch calling from WNCT. I reached out to the owner of Yuppie Puppy by phone today. She says she wants to wait until the necropsy report for Bruno, the puppy who died on Monday, comes back before making a comment. I was devastated to say the least. For others, making a comment is all they want to do. Jackie Cupper has organized a peaceful vigil for Saturday morning to raise awareness about animal cruelty. It happens all too often in the state, and I think from the criminal justice system all the way down to our next door neighbor, people need to speak up. It's found out that they were negligent and that there was any kind of cruelty that uh, justice is served through the criminal system. I spoke with Greenville police today. They expect the necropsy report for Bruno that passed away on Monday to take another two to three weeks. Tomorrow's vigil is open to the public. It'll begin at 8 a.m. in front of Yuppie Puppy. Josh Birch, not on your side. Josh, thanks.